So we picked a house. We were there last week. We did a walkthrough. We did some measures to get ready for the renovation. We'll show you that in two seconds. But we realized that in last week's video, we didn't show you our favorite thing about this house. And we're on our way to show you that right now. But first, here's the video we took last week when we were measuring and the big house reveal. We're here. We're here. <laughs> Big reveal. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of a bigger project than our last one. Yeah, much bigger. Did we get ourselves into something crazy? Yeah, I'm starting to get a little stressed out. <laughs> I am and, and it's not even ours yet. <laughs> it does have some potential though. The brick exterior is cute. Should we take a tour around the outside? before we head in? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, one of the things that I really like about this house is how much space we have on the sides of it. So this is the one in the previous reveal video. It's the tiny one, but it's in a really great neighborhood. And one of the things that make this neighborhood so great, the lots are really wide. So you're not right up against the neighbor. I love that you have this little side entrance. Nice window into the stairwell. Too. Okay, you know what? I never, I did not know that window was there. I do not remember ever seeing that window. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> Surprise! Been here for a while. This cute, this original old wooden door is adorable. Yeah, it's got oh my a God. few issues. Though. Ay, ay, ay. So. Did you know that was there? Yeah, I saw that when we were looking. <laughs> one uh, more thing to do. Just one more yeah. thing to do. Should we talk about the lovely color? I know, it's very blue. It looks like it's freshly painted bright blue too. It wasn't done too long ago, I don't think. What we should say is that the house was built in 1973? 73. 1973. Yeah. So I don't think it's seen any renovations inside, but we'll show you inside in a couple minutes. Backyard, good size. Yeah. I love these trees. Yeah, nice tree cover two-car garage that also has issues. Do you want to go show the, the garage problems? The garage? Where do we start? Oh my goodness. We start by seeing if there's any raspberries left on the bush. There's no raspberries left. You can see everything slopes in and under this door. Okay. Snow melt or rain is flowing in. So you can notice all the gardens piled up against the back of the garage. We don't have great light. <laughs> that was a little risky. So you can see the dirt that's come through but you can also see around the walls because it's a slab on grade, all that soil's holding moisture and rotting out the bottom of the garage. Oh yeah, so this is what you were saying in yeah, the same, earlier video. Oh here. my goodness. The slab's heaved as well, so water underneath has probably frozen and lifted it and cracked it. We'll see, you're digging out around it, but I think it's likely maybe it comes down. That will be a big job. Yeah. Shall we continue to go around the house? Yeah, let's keep going. So the yard is a really great size. There's a nice existing deck, which is great and access from the house. But one thing I really love about this house is that this side has a massive, massive side yard. The lots are reverse pie, so wider at the front. Yeah. So we actually, it gets wider from this point. Yeah, and I think that this could be a really nice spot to maybe we build out like a vegetable garden. Should we go take a look inside? Yeah, let's head in the front door. Make our way through the dodgily broken and falling down fence and gate. Yeah. <laughs> to the cute original patio. Yeah, a nice little uh, deck out front. That tree. Yeah, we'll see. She's Maybe. a little overgrown. Maybe it comes down. <laughs> Maybe it comes down. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Oh, the very 1970s door. There we go. Let's do it. To your favorite thing in this whole house. This. Immediately walk into. Yes, a closet. You, the closet. <laughs> the TARDIS closet. The TARDIS closet. Giant closet just in the middle of the room. We'll put that on the list of problems to solve. But I do love the vaulted ceilings. Yeah, there is uh, no light in the ceiling in the oh living room. Oh my God, room. no light in the ceiling in the living room. The list is so big. One thing yeah. I totally hate is this weird little jut out right here. I don't love the fireplace jutting out. I know, you're not a fan of the corner fireplace. But I also don't want to take out a chimney. <laughs> <laughs> you guys weigh in. Corner fireplaces, no designer in the world is a fan, but 
I kind of like it's brick. We got another slate hearth. Yeah. Ooh. She a little broken, the slate hearth. Okay, well, that's one point for taking it out. <laughs> yeah. But behind you, I can see one thing I love about this house is this great staircase. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. nice and open. Well, you really, you, you already talked about the ceiling, but you really loved that. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I think it's great. Should we go look at the, uh, the great kitchen? Yeah, for sure. This was dining area probably. Yeah, this is the original yeah. dining room. Okay. Tiny. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the kitchen. Stairs down to the basement. And oh, all of the wallpaper. Very great vintage kitchen. Yeah. I think that the original countertop tile, so cute. And look at the sweet tiles. Come on, I mean, they were cute. This, this house was adorable in its day. Don't you think, Draper? I'm sure it was nice at one point. <laughs> this one has a dishwasher. Riverside didn't have yeah. a dishwasher. Yeah. Might be able to sell that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I don't even love the sweet little knobs in the kitchen. Oh, these are salvageable. We're gonna salvage these, because they're cute. Oh my goodness. Wow, fur cabinets. So cool. But no island, no pantry. Not much of anything. Not much of anything. <laughs> so lots, lots to figure out. Here's where that washer dryer ended up going. I don't know if there's something we do with this space. More great wallpaper. Then, interesting, some found space because on this floor they have another bedroom. Yeah. So this space we have some options to turn it into something. That's the door out to the deck. Yeah, so it's a nice room. Beautiful view of the yard and the trees. So I don't know if this becomes like a family room or part of an eat-in kitchen. We've got that bathroom in the middle of this two spaces, so. Lots to figure out. Lots to figure out for floor plan, but I think the potential is there. It's one of the things we loved about this house, not only that that big side yard is so big, but it gives us the opportunity, we think, we just have to confirm with the permit drawing folks that we are able to add a bunch of windows to this wall. So I'm thinking maybe the kitchen comes over to this side of the house. More water leak, more water leak. Wow, lots of water leaks. Are these just old water leaks? Do we have to worry about this? I'm not very good at seeing the bad until we own the house. That's why I'm here, because I saw all of those. <laughs> You're the level-headed one in the group. The pessimist. The yeah. realist, I think, is the word. Clearly, I'm the optimist, and all I can see is the potential. In this room, I don't think I've ever noticed how weirdly low this wall is. Oh. Yeah, the window is really low. I never noticed that either. So... I suddenly feel tall though. <laughs> so do I. I've never touched the top of a window before. So that's interesting. God, you really do notice things after. This is all of the space that you have when you come in that side door from the garage. We definitely need to figure out mudroom. Yeah. Mm, not much room back here this, right now. This does not do the trick. <laughs> it really smells down here. It's got an odor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll definitely pull the carpet out. That'll help. Uh, so you're thinking that you're going to tackle removing the corner fireplace? Yeah, we have wood burning, original fireplaces, basement, main floor, and then obviously a chimney goes up, but it's a lot of space. I like the original detailing of the, of the fireplace upstairs, so we're not decided yet. This is something to still be debated. Well, yeah, we're still debating. Still debating. But Still debating a lot. Obviously, something we need to do is all of this exposed deck quirk. So, what do you think happened there? Why is there all this weird exposed deck book? Uh, I don't know. Maybe a leak. Hard to say. Mechanical room. So, yeah, mechanical room. This is the side of the stairs. Oh, that's where I was hoping that we could put a door to the mechanical room. Some good stuff in this room. Yeah, newer furnace, newer hot water tank. That's amazing. Those are some big ticket items that we don't have to purchase. Yeah, so that'll save a bit of money for sure. How's that panel look? It looks pretty full. Oh no. So it's got a little sub panel, but that 
probably won't be enough. What do you think about the vacuum? We're going to keep that, right? That looks like a 1970s special. Man, look at the original fur subfloor. It's yeah. beautiful. Like when they talk about they don't build them like that anymore. That is what they're talking about. Yeah. Paranoia is always mouse poop, but that's not mouse poop. It wasn't mouse poop, so we're in the clear for that. At least we didn't get animals in here. Oh, very pretty bedroom. Comes with sconces and a great mirror. Perfectly good size for a basement bedroom. Yeah, not a bad size. And do we have a problem with that window size? Probably have to change it out for an egress. Code's just under four square feet. Oh, and to that exit out. too small? I think that'll be too small. What's involved if we can't reuse the opening? Uh, we cut it down, cut the concrete deeper. Ooh, that sounds like a big job. Oh, there's some good sized closets in this room too. So, oh, we can't get, can't get into this one. Uh, no but. knob on that one. <laughs> <laughs> More lovely wallpaper. We all know how much you like taking that down. Oh, there's a water leak. We didn't see that before. Did you spy that before? Yes. Come on in to the double spa experience. But I'm glad all the plumbing's already here. The upside is it's ready to be turned into 2022 bathroom. Yeah. Wait, what year are we in? 2024? 2025 bathroom by the time this is done. And it's too bad because this is so deep. We're probably going to need to end up moving the Toilet, speaking of the toilet, how long do you think it leaked to look like that? Why do we do this again? This is your idea, wasn't it? This wasn't my idea. I didn't want to renovate and resell houses. Was it my idea? <laughs> I think it was a group effort. Just remind us how nice Riverside Renovation is in the comments to give us fortification to take on this next project. Ooh, more interesting wall spooge. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> just one more thing to open up. Oh my goodness. Is it times like these and you just want to like get out your crowbar and start ripping apart walls? Yeah. <laughs> this is stressful. I'm worried about all this. How are we going to hide that? Looks like they had a bulkhead there before. Yeah. But looks like it's running heat over to here. Oh, so, so maybe if that fireplace comes out, we don't need that big arm. That'll be tough to figure out because this is structure, but we might be able to tie back in to this beam and get these over maybe. Oh my God, you're going to have to restructure all of that because you're going to bring the floor over that corner. No, you know why I'm stressed out. <laughs> <laughs> We're hoping to get into this lower level is a bedroom, a bathroom, a good size storage room, hopefully. But also when we get upstairs, you're going to see that it's quite tight up there. So we have to end up putting a laundry room on this floor. So we don't know exactly what we're working with just yet. And we won't know until demo. Yeah, I think we're going to have to open up these areas just to see where the other telepost is. I believe in us. Eh, lots to figure out. <laughs> just overwhelming at the start. I will say that I am a fan of this giant railing. And I love the vault. And I love that the vault actually continues upstairs, which I think is so great. And, yeah, and the clear story window. Yeah, I love that. I absolutely love it. And I have a little thought about the doorways to the bedrooms that maybe I'll just tell Chris now. He'll hear it for the first time and so will you guys. I'm thinking of seeing if we can add transom windows to the top of the bedroom doors just to get the light like right into the bedrooms. Yeah. So stick around and see if we end up doing that. Look. More wallpaper. More wallpaper. Wow, wallpaper. man, you're going to be a pro. If you're looking for how to remove wallpaper tips, Chris is going to be your guy in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be my job. You guys are going to see me removing the wallpaper in a couple weeks. That's what's happening. But I like the vaults. Yeah, I think I think this was the master originally. I, yeah, it's a good size. Good size, couple yeah. closets, and yeah. then behind you, little wee tiny powder room. And the fact that it comes without carpet in it, I feel like is a win in this era. <laughs> But yeah. one thing I want to know is where is this window so that I can see if we can do a renovation to get the bathroom to include a shower at least. Right. The blue bathroom. Blue is a big, so nice. Even the vault in the bathroom. It's nice with the vaults, mm -hmm. the great windows. These are the closets that overhang the living room, which I totally hate. I hate that overhang. Yeah. I don't know about losing the floor space. That's risky, but the overhang's terrible. Mm -hmm. This light is really pretty. This room is very small. It's so tiny. It could make a great office, though. Yeah, it could be an office. Yeah, I think it's, it's too small for a bedroom, unless, I, it, unless it was a nursery or something. For sure, yeah. I think a bit tight for that. Next bedroom? Yeah, next bedroom. Oh, this is a cute room. 
Yeah. This was cute in its day. Bit of a weird shape. Super weird shape. Tiniest closet ever. Every single window is going to need replacing, hey? Yeah, they're all original and the wood's starting to rot. Oh no. Big job. Lots of work. And this top floor is really tiny. Yes. Three, well, two real small bedrooms and then yeah. the, the master. Yeah, so this was the risk with this house is that it does have a very small footprint on this floor, but it does have those amazing huge side yards. Yep. which give us so much potential to add windows. Yeah, nice neighborhood. Great neighborhood. So here's the best part. We're two blocks away from Beaumont Park. It's 164 hectares. Not only is this park huge, but it's right in the heart of the city. One of the things that Chris and I love is being outdoors and it's got piles of bike paths and running trails, which you think wouldn't matter since the last time we did a flip house, but... We think we decided to keep this one for ourselves. We think, <laughs> I think we know. So if you've dreamed of taking an old sad house and renovating it into the home of your dreams, we have nine months? Hopefully nine months, nine maybe months. more. <laughs> nine months. We have nine months of amazing renovation inspiration coming your way. So don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching.